Hey guys, I'm the Illusionist, and today I'm going to show you a great magic trick using a normal pack of cards and the faces. It's called the Slop Shuffle 2.0. Uh, if you don't know what the Slop Shuffle is, check the link in the description. It will send you to a previous video I made on the Slop Shuffle. So it's kind of the same thing, except that there's a different technique, and it's using the faces. So yeah, let's get started. So, first, you ask the spectators to shuffle the cards. Normal shuffle, don't worry. They shuffle, whoops, as much as they want. And when they are happy and they think the deck is well shuffled, well, you're going to take the four aces and lose them in the middle of the deck, like this. So now I'm going to take about half the cards, the top ones. Look. And I'm going to shuffle these face up cards with the face down cards. Like this, that's not very well shuffled. But we'll see. So, as you can see, the cards are face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face up, face up, face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face up, face up, face down. So, as you can see, it's an irregular mess. So, now I'm going to give one cup. A second cut, like this, and show you. Look, cards are face down, face up, face up, for example. And now, look, if I take my magic two of spades and I simply put it there, and look, if I snap my fingers, all the deck goes face down except for no, not four cards, only three. Only three aces. What could be the fourth one? I'm really not bothered looking at that, that mess of deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, place it there, snap my fingers and look. Three aces and the fourth one comes here. Isn't it amazing? I'll be right back for the explanation. So, how does it work? It's not very easy, but it's not hard either. It's kind of medium, I would say. So, first, you really ask the spectators to shuffle the cards in your normal shuffle. There's no full shuffle or anything. So, when it's done, you flip the deck over. And what you do is you push the bottom card like this with your thumb towards um, the right side for me, like this. And then, when you come back with it, catch a pinky break like this. So that there's a small gap between um, the fat of your pinky and the top card. Well, between the deck and the top card. So anyway, when you've done that, you take the four aces. Look, you put them on the deck and on the six of clubs. Well, in our case, and on the top card, the pinky card. And then you transfer this pinky break into a thumb break like this. Look, there's still a gap but it's maintained by my thumb. When you've done this, you take half the bottom cards, flip them over. To flip them over, I curl my first finger under the deck and I apply pressure with both sides of my hand, as you can see. And then I let, my, I let go of my thumb and I put it on the top of the deck. I catch it with my middle finger and I square everything up with my left hand. So now you've still got your pinky. And you take uh, the bottom part like this and you basically do the same thing and you put it on the top. So when you've done that, all the deck will be normal, like face down, except for the five last cards which will be the four aces plus the bottom card that there was before. So when you've done that, you split them, you take about half of the cards like this, you flip them over and I did a fan, maybe you, if you know how to do that, that's great, but if you don't, I'm going to quickly explain it, but I'll probably make a tutorial on it later on. So basically you take the deck like this, and if I, if you think I do explain well, if I don't do a tutorial later on, you can still like look on the internet, there are millions of them. So look, I take it, I grab the deck with my thumb on one side, my two middle fingers on the other side, and with my pinky and my first finger, I apply pressure, and I, I hold the deck like like this. So look, 
I can shake it, it won't fall. So when you when you're in that position, hold it up like this. Take your thumb, um, like put it just on top of your pinky so that it touches your pinky, and it's on the side of the small part of the card. And then what you do is you push, and at the same time you release your index and your pinky, and so. It, and then you spread the cards with your thumb. So it may seem a bit complicated and it's not very hard, but it's not easy. So you just practice and you'll be able to do it. So I'll show it again a bit faster. You hold in the position with the two middle fingers, the first and the pinky, so it doesn't fall. And then you take your thumb, put it just on top of your pinky, take off the two side fingers and apply pressure and spread the thread out the cards like this so you need to do that there's like no other solution as far as I know to hide the next move so what you do is you put it on top of the other deck and or like this if you're the people on the other side of the table I do like this and with your the hand that's under you flip the deck over like this and people don't notice because they're looking at the face up cards so you like this, you flip the card over, you put it on the deck and say so I'm going to take all these face up cards and shuffle them with the face down cards where in fact there's the all the cards are face up because you flip the deck over except for the five top ones which are as shown um, early on the four aces and the random cards so now you shuffle and make sure it's well shuffled. Oops, sorry, I missed. It's well shuffled uh, towards the top. If you don't know how to do this, I'll explain it and I'll probably make it a tutorial. This is not a joke, I'll seriously make a tutorial, I think, on those two things. So just, um, I I, I never watched a tutorial on this, so it's a very personal technique, and it's not good, but it works for me. So I put my index finger on the top of the deck, two middle fingers on there, and my pinky on the other side, and my thumb on this side. So basically it looks like this, how I hold uh, both sides. It's kind of like the fan thing when you think of it. Look, it does look like the fan thing. It does, I think. So um, now that you're like this, you take off your thumb, and you put them towards the corners like this and then I take off my two pinkies so now I'm like this and uh, <laughs> yeah pinkies I take off my indexes too well first fingers I curl them on the deck I apply pressure and I slowly release pressure on both sides with my thumbs and so it, it's shuffled so uh, I didn't do it really well sorry right whoops this is not my day so there it should be better so now you push the deck in that there's no technique you can do whatever you want so i'm sure that the cards are face up face down and face up and face down and what you're going to do is you're going to count five face down cards it don't doesn't matter about the face up cards so there we've got one two three four five so when you've got five just place the face up cards um on the deck so that they stick out and doesn't matter if the spectators see it and then you just take them take them out put them on the top of the deck so now i think guess what the five cards were they were the four aces and the random card at the bottom of the deck so now that they are there you say you're going to cut once and you take one card two cards you go back on the deck and when you put them you catch pinky like this so now you should know how to catch pinky break because this is the time so now you transfer this pinky break to a thumb break again and you split you you perform a double undercut if you don't know how to do this i made a tutorial on full squats and uh, on full squats well i did too but the one that will interest you is how to control the card to the bottom or the top of the deck and it explains the double of the cut but I just explained quickly basically you take half the bottom cards you put them on the top take the pinky cards with the top part and take the bottom part and put it on the top so now um, like there'll be two cards 
um, at the bottom, which are one ace and the random card, and the other ones will be here for three aces. So now, so that um, these cards are in the middle, you say, your excuse is you're going to prove that they are face up and face down. You take the first half, you swing cut, you swing cut, you take um, the thumb at the bottom of the deck, the two middle uh, two middle fig fingers, top right, um, this is bottom right, your thumb is bottom right. Then with your first finger, you, sw you lift up and on the side, catch it, like if you're pinching it, well, you pinch it, so <laughs> you can just say that you're pinching. You catch it in your um, left hand, you take, you swing cut once more, you put it on the top, like this, but out drilled, and then you, the remaining part you put on the bottom of the deck like this, and then you square everything up. So when that's done, you say you're going to flip the deck over and take the magic card, which is totally random, and it's the six of clubs. And now you're going to perform a double lift. If you don't know how to perform a double lift, I made a tutorial on it, and so the link will be in the description. So you perform your double lift, and you put the, um, the pretended six of clubs there, where in fact it's an ace. And then you say you snap your fingers, blah, 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 in the story, and basically you spread the cards. And I I said, and there was the, and then I stop, and I say what, what? Where's the fourth one? I I only see three phrases in the face down cards. And people think like, oh, you messed up half of your trick, everything. And you say you're not bothered looking and everything. Well, that's what I say. You can make up your story. Then you simply snap your fingers, something else, and reveal the fourth ace came here. So I hope this very long explanation helped you at least. If you enjoyed, please click that like button, leave a comment, share it with your friends. And please subscribe, that would be really cool and really nice. And I'll see you next time. Bye!